All right, so in this video, I'm going to walk you through the process of customizing a console application inside of Salesforce. So you may have one or multiple console apps in your own Salesforce developer account. And I have clicked on the app launcher, the three by three grid at the top left. Some people call this the waffle in Salesforce. I don't uh, necessarily like that terminology because I don't want syrup on my screen, but I digress. And I'm going to click on view all and look for a console application. Now I could click on service console, but one console app that I like that I've recently been doing some videos on is the Salesforce optimizer. Now you will need to go into setup and allow access from the Salesforce optimizer to your org. So if you don't have Salesforce optimizer in your app launcher, then search for optimizer click to allow access and then you will have it in your app launcher. Now this is a console application because I've got my list view on the left and I've got several tabs that have persisted across sessions as well. A console application remembers why you had it open last time and you can click on different records and then that will open up a new tab with that particular record. Now the Salesforce Optimizer is a tool that will help you to optimize your own org and address issues that may be problematic and signifies things such as immediate action required, action required, etc. As well as as you click on these different topics it will give you help articles related to what might be going wrong in your org. But what I want to do is I want to customize this application. This is a managed app from Salesforce, a third party app to your own org here. But you can actually make some changes to a console application such as the Salesforce Optimizer. So how to do that is you'll want to go into setup. I'm clicking the gear icon and then selecting setup. And then you want to go into app manager, not app builder, but app manager. And that's where you can manage the different apps in your org and see all the different apps in your org. And so I'm just searching for App Manager, and that's found in the Setup menu under Apps. And then it will take you to the list of all the different apps in your org. Here we'll find the Salesforce Optimizer app. And I will click the down arrow to the right for that particular line and then select Edit. And here is where we can go into the app details and branding. Now the app name is just Optimizer here. You could change that if you so desire. You could upload a custom image, but here's the image that Salesforce provides. And then you can change the color value as well. You can customize the themes and branding here. Change the description if you so desire. And then going to app options, one thing to note is whenever you create a console app or if you're dealing with a console app that's been previously created in Salesforce, you cannot change that to a standard navigation. Once a console app, always a console app and vice versa. So whenever you're creating an app in Salesforce, you really need to think about, okay, does this need to be standard or does this need to be console? And worst case scenario is you create one of each and you'll find that as well as an option inside of the free developer accounts. You'll see service application and then you'll see service console. They put that in the name so that you know that it's a console app. So not a huge deal. Here, this is only form factor supported is desktop but not phone. So I'm gonna go ahead and change that to desktop and phone to see if I can get away with that and if it, that will actually work on mobile as far as this particular application goes. And then I want to go ahead and click save to save those changes before I progress into the next section, which is utility items, which is desktop only. This is not something that is accessible or doable on mobile. Now the utility bar, these utility items are very helpful, I have found. And you can add utility items and that'll be a bar across the bottom that persists. It's not a floating bar, it actually stays in place and you can scroll up and down and it just stays at the bottom of the browser window. It's like an overlay at the bottom. And so if I add utility items, I can add things to that utility bar there. So for example, if you wanted to add notes, you could do that. And I could add history. So I will have a pop-up that I could see recent records that I've worked on, for example. And one note here as well, and this is a pet peeve of mine with Salesforce, is you can select notes and add that as a utility item to a console application, but if you have not enabled notes in your org, it will not appear in the utility bar, and then you'll spend hours pulling your hair out, like I have here, because I'm bald now, uh, trying to figure out why notes is not appearing, and that's because it's not enabled in your org. Uh, note to Salesforce, Mark Benioff, in your spare time, please send a note to your developers that if they would at least provide some sort of pop-up or warning or prompt, would you like to enable notes? 
and then just click yes that would be amazing thank you very much mark i'm going to click save other items here in the app settings would be navigation items with this uh, optimizer app it does provide you with org metrics and you saw in that list view that i was on previously all these different items that needed to be addressed all of those items are encased in or housed in this selected item of org metrics you could add other navigation items as well so that if you wanted to pull up records related to accounts or contacts or cases, whatever it may be, then you could do so. I'm going to go ahead and move cases over to the right for selected items and save that selection. The idea being that if there are things in the optimizer that are going to require some internal work by our administrators in our org, for example, you could create a case, an internal case for employees into either a queue and then your admins could be working on those issues represented by those different items listed, those different org metric details from the optimizer as well. So then finally, navigation rules, and we could make cases a sub-tab of our org metric scan, but I'm just going to keep that as a separate workspace tab. That way it's not down below the org metric scan items. I didn't really change that, so I'm not going to worry about saving. It's popping up save because I did hit sub tab and then went back but I'm just going to move on to user profiles and confirm that I want to leave that page and go into user profiles and then here you just want to make sure that the profiles that you want to have access to the Salesforce optimizer app have the visibility on that and so what I'm concerned with is making sure that system administrator is in that list because that's the profile that I am under and I don't see it here under available profiles so that tells me that's in here somewhere but I am too lazy to find it, so I'm just going <laughs> to trust that it's there. Now, once you're finished making your changes, you can bounce out of the Lightning App Builder. And one note on that is you notice that we got to the Lightning App Builder from the App Manager, which was the list of all the apps in our org. And when we select to edit from there, that takes us to the Lightning App Builder, which is where we've been this whole time. But to bounce back out of there, you can click on Back. And so now we can click the App Launcher and pull up View All in order to find Salesforce Optimizer. I'm going to go ahead and click and drag this up higher so that I can find it more easily in the future. I'm going to try to at least. Stay. Stay. There we go. It's more like it. I'm going to move that to the top for grins. And then I'm going to go ahead and launch. And with dragging that though as well, let me go ahead and click on this to show you that that does reorder the sequence of apps there. A little uh, helpful tip there, hopefully. Now you notice that uh, we've got our utility bar here at the bottom. Remember, that's desktop only. I previously enabled notes in my org, so it does display there. So I could be entering in notes from this console application. And don't get too caught up in that this is the Salesforce Optimizer app. Previous two videos I've done, I've ended up in the Salesforce Optimizer, so I've got that on the brain right now. But this could be just as easily the service console application or any other console application for that matter. And so we could add the ability to add notes from any console application, as well as seeing the history. There's no history to show, at least in this particular session. But if I were to go and bounce around some, we'll start populating some history and I'll show this here in action here momentarily. So I'm hitting and opening some new tabs. And then another thing about console apps is you run out of real estate here on this tab bar. So for example, if this were the service console and you close some tabs for some cases you're working on, this is where the history item in the utility bar is very helpful. Then you can pull that back up and that will take you back to where you were. You can also uh, copy the link to the URL for whatever tab you're on. That is helpful because otherwise you're not able to get to that URL because it is inside of this tab and this particular URL here is for the full browser experience, not an individual tab. So if you're needing to send a link to a, a coworker, for example, that's how you would do that. Now, one other thing, navigation item, I added cases to this console application. You'll find that here. And it, because of the order I selected them in, the top most would be org metrics. And so when you first open Salesforce Optimizer in this instance, org metrics would be the dominant window. But you can also select cases. And then this updates the left side of this console application with whatever my potentially pinned list view is. I don't have one pinned, but it's my previously viewed list view is all my open cases. And so you can access and navigate to various cases. And then you could go back into these other tabs. And here we've got Salesforce Optimizer content. And from here we could then go in and create a new case based on the findings from the optimizer about insecure default external access levels. And we could create a new case from there 
and go off to the races. I've got a, a couple of record types in my org related to software development or installation cases, but in your own org, that'll vary, of course. And so that's just a high-level overview of how you can customize a console application inside of Salesforce. So if you found this video helpful, please do like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below for what you'd like to learn next, and I just might make it my next video. And until then, I'll see you in the cloud.